Now I'm going to let her teach me about the psoas and how we turn the psoas on and we think about contracting the psoas when we do things like yoga and Pilates and things like that. So I'm coming to you with low back pain and, and I'm telling you that my Pilates instructor, my uh, yoga instructor told me to make sure that I'm using my psoas when I do the exercise. Like, how do I make sure that I use my psoas? Well, it's my understanding that all those muscles in that area are working together. So if you're using them, you're using the psoas, but you're using the piriformis, paramedalis, paramedalis yeah. and other muscles in that area as well, in the pelvic area as well. Okay. So you're saying that it's, if I'm doing a movement, it's impossible for me to only use one muscle because all the muscles should be kicking on and working together. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So I shouldn't be targeting a muscle when I'm doing an exercise unless that exercise is like an isometric where I'm just squeezing and holding one muscle. That's my understanding. There you go. And then when I'm doing those exercises where I'm targeting that muscle, I'm not trying to strengthen that muscle like big strong muscles. I'm just trying to teach that muscle to stay on. That's right. Okay. Okay. So that's a, that's a big difference than just doing exercises to get stronger. Exactly. And yeah, it's, so far it's working for me.